Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now March 24th of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the thing about Lucasfilm and Disney is that as of right now, they are making drastic changes to the Star Wars universe as we know it. They are really modeling the Star Wars franchise after the MCU with this new universe that they are developing where all of the future comics, novels, books, video games, movies, and TV shows to come as well as animated TV series are all going to interconnect with each other. That's just going to be like the MCU with their movies and TV shows. Now, also the thing on top of this, Disney has a major plan in place to provide multiple different retcons to the Skywalker Saga in upcoming books and novels for this year of 2020 and especially next year of 2021. Now, the biggest retcon of all is the one that was actually very recent in the Rise of Skywalker novelization, which released not too long ago in early March, mid-March, whatever have you. And in the book, it is finally unveiled that Palpatine was a clone all along in Star Wars Episode Nine, where the spirit is actually within that empty shell. So, the thing about this, more retcons are on the way, and some of which are going to change Star Wars forever and exactly how we view the prequel trilogy and, of course, the sequel trilogy mainly. Now that, now that, of course, both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with the Skywalker saga, they are focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of films, as well as their new Star Wars universe, that will bring fans into new eras and a new mythology of the Star Wars universe as we know it, where it's noted that currently both Disney and Lucasfilm are developing multiple retcons to the Skywalker saga in various ways that are going to change how fans view the Star Wars movies. It's explained that Disney is currently making multiple retcons for the prequels and sequel movies, mostly in order to reshape the Skywalker saga in multiple ways in order to provide specific explanations for the Star Wars films by Disney. It's noted that one of the major retcons that changes the Skywalker saga is that the dyad of the force between Kylo Ren and Rey was actually chosen by a will and a fallen will to combine the force of the light and the dark to destroy a greater evil known as Palpatine. It's explained that the Wills are the ones that were able to allow the Dyad of the Force to connect between Rey and Kylo, and that Palpatine had a glimpse of this Dyad in the future during the events of Revenge of the Sith. It's noted that also the Force Ghost helping Rey at the very end of the film was made possible because of the Wills allowing the Force Ghost to help Rey on the world of Exegol. This is said to be explained in an upcoming novel in late 2020 as well as another book in 2021, where not just that but another retcon that is being made to the prequel trilogy era is that the spirit of Plagueis is said to have played a major role in Anakin Skywalker's turn to the dark side of the Force in this upcoming retcon for Revenge of the Sith, and that they are looking to officially making Plagueis and Palpatine the real creators of Anakin in the new Disney canon material. So what's really massive about this is the fact that they are looking to making the spirit of Plagueis being of course a major player in turning Anakin Skywalker to the dark side of the force and not just that, Palpatine and Plagueis being the key roles in actually creating Anakin Skywalker. Now, of course, this was touched on in Star Wars Legends, but it's no longer a thing in the Disney canon, and it was somewhat hinted in one of the Darth Vader comics back in late 2018, but it was never actually quite direct or quite official by the creators of that comic, stating that it was merely just a vision that, of course, Vader had. The thing about this, though, what's really interesting to me is the fact that they are trying to explain all of these different retcons to really give us these different explanations of specific key roles of the characters that we all know and love, such as Kylo, Rey, Palpatine, Plagueis, Anakin Skywalker, you name it. Now, the Dyad of the Force is a very interesting touch, the fact that it was actually made possible because of a will and a fallen will basically connecting both Rey and Kylo Ren from the very start. That to me is a very interesting piece of how they're connecting because of the wills. Now the wills are godlike beings, I don't know if you guys knew this, but they were actual godlike beings that were created by George Lucas, and that a lot of George's ideas are now going to be used in the new Star Wars universe, and it's going to be explained in further detail. 
So the fact that they're really tapping into Palpatine, Plagueis, and Anakin for the prequels and how that's going to be a major retcon to the prequel trilogy era, we're going to eventually view Anakin Skywalker in a different sense once that retcon is actually made this year into early next year of 2021, that Anakin is the true creation between both Palpatine and Plagueis. Like I say though, this was somewhat already touched on in the actual Star Wars Legends material in some of the books out there, but it was never actually quite direct as this of what Disney is trying to make it out to be. They're trying to make it as direct as Palpatine as a clone in the novelization of The Rise of Skywalker to Anakin Skywalker being the creation of Plagueis and Palpatine. So with that being said guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Again.